Let's take a look at how we can install IPython Notebook using Anaconda. There is no IPython Notebook for this step because you don't have IPython Notebook installed yet. Let's take a look at Anaconda. Anaconda is a Python distribution provided by the company Continuum Analytics. It is completely free and it contains a lot of packages for science, engineering, mathematics, and data analysis. It contains packages that will be used in these lessons, such as NumPy and Pandas, and it will contain IPython Notebook, which we will use in order to progress through our lessons. This page will guess your operating system and provide you with a download link. In this case, I'm using Windows 64-bit, and I'm going to download the installer for Python 2.7. All I have to do is click on this link and wait a few minutes for the file to download. Once the download is completed, we can go to our list of downloads and start the Anaconda installer. The next process should only take us a couple of minutes. When we launch the Anaconda installer, we'll see a window that looks like this. The exact appearance of this window will differ based on whether we're installing Anaconda for Linux, for Windows, or for Mac. Here, I'm installing Anaconda on Windows. I click Next. I read through the End User License Agreement. I click I Agree. And then I can choose if I want to install Anaconda for just me or for all users. These options will be specific to whether or not you're installing Anaconda on Windows, Linux, or Mac. On Windows, you need extra permission in order to install Anacondas for all users. I want to install it for just myself, in which case I don't need these administrative privileges. I can click Next to install it for just myself. I'm then provided a window that looks like this. I can choose the installation location. Here, I'll install it to my user directory. And then I can click Next. These two advanced options are worth taking note of. You may already have Python installed on your computer. If you're using a Mac or Linux, you may have Python installed as part of the operating system. If you're on Windows, you may have Python installed via the Nthought Canopy distribution or via the installer from python.org. You might even have built Python from source and might be using that already. These two options control which Python is used by default. In some situations, you may want Anaconda to be your default. If you've never used Python before and you've never installed Python before, then it might be reasonable to set Anaconda as your default. However, if you have other Python installations and you want to keep them separate, and you want to be very clear about which Python installation you're using at what time, you may not want Anaconda to be your default. Unfortunately, I can't tell you which option is correct. What I can tell you is that in future, if you run into any problems where packages don't seem to be installed correctly, or where you seem to be missing modules that you think you've installed already, or where the Python that you're using doesn't behave in the way that you expect it to, this is one area to look into, namely, which Python are you using? Are you using the Python provided by Anaconda, or are you using the Python that's already installed in your system, or the Python that was installed by another distribution like Canopy or like the python.org installer? Here, I'll choose the defaults. When I click Install, it'll install Anaconda to my system. It'll take a couple of minutes to install, and then I'll be ready to go.